Persians of its endless, infinite, and eternal excess. Genesis 1 verse 26 says, let us make man, put it on please if you can, let's read together. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have, oh, this is purpose, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over everything that creeps, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. And everybody say amen to that. Amen. Now, the purpose of man as defined by God, not by man, not by scientists, not by any scientists, not, not, not by any human experiences, not by any human encounters, not by any uh, as, as, extraterrestrial uh, definitions of man or articulations of man. No, even extraterrestrial creatures don't know who man is. You didn't hear me. They don't know the potentials that man carries. Because you see, in the creation of man, it was an exclusive creation. The Bible says, God said, let us make man in our own image. So there is a jealously guided dimension called in the image of God, in which God made man. Remember God made the fishes of the sea from the sea? Remember that teaching? Hallelujah. He called the earth to, to bring forth every cattle and things that, you know, live upon the face of the earth. So, you see, you see the, the water produced the fowl of the earth. The water also produced, uh, the water produced the aquatic animals, the fishes of the sea, right? The earth produced cattle and all the four-legged creatures. God commanded the earth to produce to procreate, the water procreated. You see that? So God commanded his image to procreate man. So in his image, he made man. So until you come into the realm of God's image, your perception of man's capability, potentials will be so short secured. You see, the revelatory knowledge of who man is in actuality is found in the dimensions of his image. So the essence of his image is the revelatory knowledge that professes, that teaches, that carries the manual of who man is. Let us make man in our own image. Let us make man. There is a place in God that man came from. And until we return to that consciousness, until we return to that dimension, to that excellence, to that ability, to that revelatory knowledge, to that intimacy in the community of God's image, to reflect his likeness, our dominion mandate, commission, and potentials will be so limited that all the creatures will not behold the likeness of God in us to respect our authorities. I don't care who you are, you can have authority, you can think you have authority, you can claim to have authority, but until that authority is powered, until that authority is empowered with the likeness of God, other creatures will not bow. Other creatures will not respect your authority. That's why every authority delegated comes with the support of a certain degree of righteousness. Righteousness empowers you to lay hold on some level of God's likeness in order for authorities to be subdued. I'm not sure. 
I know you're trying to figure it out. You see, authorities cannot be subdued until you have captured certain levels of God's imagery. And that's what the Bible says, why we look as in the mirror, the glory of the Lord, what do we capture in that dimension? The glory, the image of God. As we look as in the mirror, the glory of the Lord, we are being changed into his glory, into his image. So we behold to see and to become. You see, by the time we become like him, our authority in the realms of the spirit and all the creatures of higher entities will bow. Listen to this. Hold on. Creatures of different realms, whether perverted or good or angels or cancerous spirits or the spirit of death or the spirit of sex, confusion, anger, emotions. Some of you here, you are reflecting your emotion. There is a demon causing you to behave the way you behave. And this behavior is the one that draws you back. You don't even know what is your behavior that takes you back. And there's a spirit responsible living that attitude through you. So everything about your life can be controlled by higher forces. You know why? Because they do not see the likeness of Yeshua. And where there is no likeness of Yeshua, creatures that are originally subject to you will not honor you. Because the standard was preordained. Let us make man in our image so that they can capture our likeness. And that by the time they have put on the likeness of Yeshua, the likeness of Yahweh, they let them have dominion over the fowl of the earth, over the fish of the sea, over things that creep upon the earth and over the earth. So stop trying to exercise dominions and start becoming like God. Can I hear amen like a thunder sons of God? Can I hear amen like a thunder sons of God? 